Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff, and right now I'm in between videos. It's like the worst place to be because I want to be creative, I have lots of things going on, lots of reviews I'm working on, but I'm not quite ready to release anything. But I still want to make a video, so I figured I would do something fun today, talking about my everyday tech. This is actually not a video that I've made before, and you guys keep asking me, what is your daily driver, what type of stuff do you use? And I just haven't gotten around to making a video like this. So I figured that I would today show you what I like to use daily on a daily basis and why. Now I realize that a lot of you guys are not going to have the same opinions that I do. So let's be civil to one another if you don't happen to like something that I happen to enjoy or use. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first things that I want to talk about is what I call my sanity tech. Well, that's really just the things that I like to do for fun. I'm really a big... Nintendo person. I actually have to thank John for this because he's gotten me totally obsessed with my 3DS. I just made a video about this video review. I had the old 3DS and that wasn't my favorite, but now this one really is. I really like the eShop and where it's gone and the 3D works really, really well. So I keep buying themes and I keep buying games and this has just become an obsession for me, but I like to be very handsy. I'm a very multitasking type person and I always need to be engaged in something. So I find that this thing helps me use my mind. I like puzzle games and RPG type stuff, action type stuff. It keeps my hands firmly planted, otherwise I find that I kind of end up chewing on my fingernails. I don't have hefty gaming needs. I'm not a gamer in terms of PS4 or PC gaming. I like Nintendo titles. Very simple, simple graphics. I really like a lot of older titles. So this is just, this is my jam right here. Otherwise, before that, I was using a Nintendo Game Boy Micro, and I still love this thing. A lot of Game Boy Advance games, and it's pretentiously small. I happen to like pretentious. Pretentious things are funny to me. So look at this thing. This works really great for my hands, really teeny tiny. So these are my immediate sanity items. Then otherwise, I am also a reader. So I love my Kindle Voyage. John got this for me as a birthday present. And a lot of people would be like, meh, why don't you just use an iPad? Why don't you just read on your computer? I'm the type of person that likes to have a dedicated unit for something. I don't want to be bothered by Twitter notifications. I don't want to be bothered by YouTube notifications, any type of notifications. I just want to be able to immerse myself in something that works really, really well. And reading is what this works really well for. Nothing else. It lasts for weeks. So this is great for me. That's probably another pointer on why I like using my little Nintendo handhelds instead of using emulators on my phone because I can get lost in this type of environment. It's an ecosystem. Nintendo is a definite ecosystem. And then of course I listen to music. I have a very eclectic taste in music, so you can expect me to listen to everything from the Cranberries to Buckethead, whatever. And I have these Yui Mega Boom things. I got these during Awesome Stuff Week last year, and I love these. By the way, everything I'm talking about here is not sponsored in any way. This is just stuff that I truly love. So these Mega Boom speakers are both rugged and they're waterproof, and I really love how they interact with the application. So I can control this as it's sitting next to the TV. I can have a stereo effect with both of them together. I will play games from my iPhone or from my Android and have the audio coming from these. So I love these. And of course, Google Music is my streaming app of choice. So a definite shout out to the UE Mega Boom. The experience is really, really great on these. Mm. Critical battery, please charge. Yeah. Mm. Critical battery, please charge. Then of course you can hold down the plus and minus to hear what your battery is like. You can tell I listen to a lot of music. I'm actually not a big headphone person. I don't like the feeling of headphones over my ears. Although if you guys can recommend a nice pair of audiophile earphones that are your favorite, I would be open to checking them out. Whew, it is hot in here. That's one thing about hair for ladies. If you like to wear your hair long, you just feel like you're stuck underneath a tent and it just gets very hot and sweaty under here. Now moving on to talking about daily drivers in terms of smartphones. This is a question that you guys always have and I don't really ever have a solid answer for you because I'm always changing my phones. I can say that I'm always using an iPhone and I'm always using an Android phone, whatever Android phone that I'm using to review at the time. 
I can say that I'm not really partial to anyone in particular. I like iPhone for various reasons and I like Android for various reasons. I kind of see iPhone as for fun. I like the apps and the games where I think if I want to get some serious work done, I kind of go over to the Android side. I really do love the Galaxy S7 Edge though. I think this is the best phone that I've seen so far, but we'll see what else ends up coming out this year. So whatever iPhone is current, this is the iPhone SE, which by the way, I think I'm going to give away and my Galaxy S7. And also I always have a Nexus phone nearby. So the Nexus 6P because I like to be a purist. So how about my choice in computers? This is where we're gonna get even more touchy than with smartphones. I am a Mac person. I am, I always have been. I've had lots of Windows computers and Windows laptops, but there's just something that's really polished about Mac that just works for me. If there's something that's gonna take a lot of time to deal with the drivers and deal with just whatever issues come by with whatever Windows operating system is having at the moment, like Windows 10. I don't have anything against it in particular, but I just came from a Windows 10 laptop that I just couldn't get working properly and kept having hardware issues, so I returned it. I returned it. I don't want to get into that right now, but if you guys have had any great experiences with Windows machines or Windows laptops lately, let me know which one that it was. If anything is going to tear me away from Mac, it's going to be one of the very extremely small Windows laptops I've seen coming out, like the Razorblade Stealth or the HP Spectre that has Thunderbolt 3 support. Apple did not include that in their new little MacBook so that I can connect an awesome eGPU to it. I'm really into that idea of modularity. I want to be able to have a really tiny machine and then be able to plug in an eGPU when I need it so that I can render videos and export videos. So we shall see what the market produces. So my daily computer is a MacBook Pro. This is a 13 inch. It's severely underpowered, I admit it, but I end up using Final Cut X a lot and that's a very simplistic program. So it works just fine for me. I like the simplistic workflow of Final Cut X and that's where I've come to have this little guy, which I'm very conflicted about because it's two pounds. I'm a very small person. I like to carry around a laptop, but I don't want to end up having broken capillary lines on my shoulders from my backpack. And I can carry this everywhere. I find that I'm using my smartphone less and less because this is so small and easy to carry. This is even more underpowered and extremely expensive for what you get. But for some reason, I like it. I'm gonna edit this whole video on this little thing right here and it does just fine with Final Cut X. It's probably gonna be an entirely different story if I use something like Adobe Premiere Pro, but it works really great for my particular workflow with Final Cut X. I'm actually working on the review for this right now. That's one of the videos I'm working on, so please stay tuned for that. I am trying to get my hands on some comparable machines to this that have more ports and things. Of course, they're going to be Windows operating system. So we'll see how I fare against those. But for me, Mac is just very simple. If I have to spend a lot of time getting something to work, I just, just, no, it doesn't work for me. And on that note, that brings me to my camera. Like what I use every day as a setup, what I'm filming on right now. A lot of people will use DSLRs, will have a variety of lenses. I'm a very simple person. This is what I'm trying to emphasize. I like things that kind of work together I don't want to have a bunch of components and pieces and things that I have to moderate and monitor. So I've got the PJ790V video camera. So I'm now filming in 1080p, 60 frames per second. I'm thinking of upgrading this to the 4K model so I can start filming in 4K. But it's nice to have a video camera because I like to sit there with just one lens. I like how well the autofocus works. I like that I can zoom in and show everything in real time. And then I've got a Zoom H2N that's just plugged in with the male to male plug. And I just import the video and audio together as one unit and I edit it inside Final Cut X. And it's so simple, so easy. I don't have to do a lot of crazy things. I can also take this little camera everywhere. It's a really tiny little camera. So I like easy workflows. I like things that just work out of the box without having to mess with drivers and do crazy things. I like the experience overall of things. Like with Nintendo, I like certain ecosystems, things that I can feel very engulfed in and very comfortable. And I also like dedicated things like Kindles because sometimes I don't want a unit that does everything but not so well. 
I'd rather have something that's just one thing, does one dedicated thing really, really well. So now I have talked to you guys a bit about my daily tech. This is just what comes to mind that I use all the time. Of course, I have a TV. It's some crappy $500 Vizio TV. I want a Sony 4K TV. Some of the stuff I saw released at CES this year was just insane. The last one I can think of is cars. Actually, I don't have a car because I don't actually need one. John likes to drive me around. Otherwise, I use Uber. I told y'all I'm very, very simplistic. It's almost embarrassing. So thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me ramble on about things that I really enjoy. I really would like to know what types of things that you enjoy. I'm going to be really interested in reading the comments in the comment section. Do you guys agree with some of my choices or why I like them? Just curious. Be kind, please. Be kind. Do you like dedicated devices? Do you like devices that do everything all in one? Are you a PC gamer? Are you someone who likes Xbox or PS4? Or do you like Nintendo? Let me know what you guys like. It's always fun to get to know what you guys care about and such. So stay tuned. I've got lots of things that I'm working on currently. I will get them out as soon as I can. And that's all I have to say. So thanks for watching and bye.